So hi there, Facebook. Um, not sure who will be joining me joining me this evening, but I am here to give it another try. I've uh, set up things a little bit differently. I noticed in the my first attempt to do a Facebook Live video that the audio sucked really bad, and uh, the the video wasn't wasn't the best either. I think I don't know why. So I'm giving it another try, and uh, I hope you'll join me and give me some feedback so I know if you guys can hear me with this setup, okay. If you can't, let me know. Nope. I, I waved. Did you see me hit the camera? <laughs> Hi, Peggy. It's nice to see you. Thanks for joining me. I hope you can hear me okay. try to type something to you maybe you can't hear and or there's some lag okay good all right thanks George hi there thanks for joining joining me with this little test um, the feedback is really cool uh, probably a lot of lag uh, I'm not sure what my what my rate is my bandwidth I don't know what your bandwidth is either, but I guess mine would matter the most. I'm not going to take too much time drawing. I thought I'd just draw like a pine tree and a rock. I drew a rock earlier and did some two-point camera editing, and I kind of want to do three points just so it looks better, but I'm going to start with two points, start small, and kind of learn how to do that first because... That was tricky learning how to do it and i'm sure there's a an easier way that i probably picked the hardest way to do it because that's just how i roll i was afraid that i can i moved the camera i guess enough you can see all of the all the whiteboard it's kind of a i have a light i have a light up here i have a light here i have some lights over here but they're leds and they well here i'll show you Got a weird kind of frequency thing going on there. Isn't that weird? You probably play around with it. Here, I'm gonna shut this off. I'll shut that off. Shut this off. Okay, it caught up. All right. Here, I wonder if it's maybe it's this. I have this other fluorescent light. The two together are messing with it. Isn't that interesting? All right, I don't know what you all are seeing, but I'm seeing some crazy stuff over there. That's crazy. All right, I guess I can't use the LED. It's messing with the <laughs> frequency detectors if that's what they're called. Sounds like they should be called that. Yeah, I do. That it's George knows me. That's how I do it. You learn more that way when you do things the hard way. You know, I mean there's it's entropy. There's just one way to do things perfectly and there's countless ways to do it wrong. And it's kind of boring to just do it perfectly. I mean, variety is the spice of life, right? Anyway, thanks everyone for joining me and I hope you stick around while I eventually get to drawing this pine tree, I guess I'm going to draw. I've been working on a video that kind of explains the origins of Mr. Ed Draws and I think I'm going to have that for season three, like the beginning of season three, so look for that. Um, it's really challenging to get everything to line up and do the narration for it. I I don't like to do uh, a script because because I sound when I read script it just doesn't sound right. So I I kind of want to do freestyle. You know I have like some cards with 
talk about this, talk about that, and then I talk about it. But then when you actually do that, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't work out, it seems like. So I have to do like 3,000 takes, and sometimes I'm just tired, and I can't speak. Sometimes I'm drunk, and I can't speak. So, I mean, that happens. <laughs> I had this one video, and it had some, like, birch trees in it, and one of the one of the viewers commented, well, it looks like a guy who does Calvin and Hobbes stuff. And it's funny he would say that because that's where I kind of learned how to draw those kind of trees was from Bill Watterson. And kind of shout out to him. Every time I draw one, I think, of Calvin and Hobbes rolling down in the wagon. I guess it is kind of rubbed off. Use the eraser part to take away. I found that, you know... It's as good as being able to draw in white that you can erase the dry erase off so you always are aware that you have really have two colors that you're working in. And if you have some old dry erase pens, you actually have tones of black, you know, grays and stuff. So there's some advantages, some disadvantages to working with it that you, it's hard to save these. But it works out if you're doing videos and doing it on YouTube. There's a pine tree and some birch trees or cottonwoods or whatever those white bark trees are called. I'm not I'm not a botanist or whatever those tree people are. It's obvious. <laughs> does it you're saying it needs a rock? Is that what is it? It does kind of need a rock. Uh hmm. Okay, yeah, this is what's really cool about dry erase because, you know, you can just kind of go, kind of go in here like that. It takes it out real easy. And then you can just add a rock. The pine tree's kind of growing up back there. A squirrel drug a pine cone back there and was eating some pine nuts and dropped one in the rock. Anyway, the bah. Bob Ross always makes up these ridiculous stories about what goes on in his little drawings, and I do too. I, th I don't know if it, if I learned that from him or it's just something that artists have, but that's what I do. Make up these stories. They have to make sense too. I mean, I know I know a little bit about topography and a little bit about geography. I know that I know the way gravity pulls on things and how you don't see a lot of real straight lines in nature only in certain places and you, know, you follow those rules but usually if you make your story up around that then everything works out okay I, I do when I look at when I watch myself draw these I can't even believe it half the time I'm like wow you drew this I can't even it like it came out of me I don't know it, I'm as astonished as anyone and I don't know it just kind of blows my mind maybe that's why I do it because I get a kick out of myself I don't know well, do I need to work on the rock a little bit more? I have this technique that I figured out. I have this old this old brush here. It's a good old brush. It's been through a lot. And the ends of it are so messed up that I can only use it for certain textures. And I decided I would try to use it on this dry erase. And it actually works out perfectly. If I bought a new brush, I, I couldn't get the effect that I can with this. This beat up, neglected, was going to be tossed in the trash brush but now it's probably one of my my favorite tools and one of the most indispensable so it just goes to show you know don't give up on things don't give up on it, it could turn out to be something you really need don't be a hoarder either i mean <laughs> i'm gonna tell you about my neighbor here but but i mean i kept it for a reason maybe it, it's just the future talking to me it's like you might need that it puts in a really neat grassy texture and you can kind of go through and highlight it some more and add some layers you know give it a try Mel I might add, give it a try you see you watch me do it you can uh, when this feeds over you can just play it over again and try it out I know you have some artistic ability it's give it a try
you know, I had to, I started somewhere. Well, let's see, uh, I'll try to draw something. You guys can do this kind of like maybe new age, modern-y looking. You have your wedge, you know, and you're just kind of going back and forth. It doesn't even have to look. See, that looks raggedy. It looks messed up. It's like that. How is that ever going to be something that's really cool? Well, you just kind of have to add to it. Have faith. Invest. Invest a little bit of imagination. You'll be surprised what happens. Looks like it needs a little there. Looks like it might need a little bit here. If you add something you don't need, that's what's great about dry erase. You can just take it out and start over. Give that a try. See? I might have made that look easy, but you can give it a try. I have one of, on YouTube, season one, I have a video that kind of explains how to make a pine tree or how I go about doing it. I, I do have a process. It's not just, I'm not randomly assaulting the board with a, a dry erase marker. I do have this met method that I'm going about, but once you know that, it's it's pretty easy. You can draw thousands of these. I hope it went well. I hope you enjoyed it, and it's really nice to see you guys, and I, I hope it was nice, uh, enjoyable, and entertaining for you guys to watch me draw and talk to you all live, and I'll let you know when I do this again. So until next time, um, take care.